Hi, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is an update of the 90 times 40 centimeter nature inspired aquarium. Now, this may be the last time you see it in this form because I'll be doing a rescape, well, a partial rescape pretty soon. Now, for the hardscape, I'm using Dragonstone, Black Lava Rock, Driftwood, and Spiderwood. And on top, above the water, okay, are some air plant, money plant, which can be submerged, and Monsteras. Filters, I've got two, one on each side. One is a Suruba, and the other is a Visan Hang On Back Filter. Now this fan is turned on for around 12 hours or more a day, and it keeps the temperature low at around 26 to 27 degrees. Okay, Else, in Singapore, the aquarium water temperature will probably hover around 29. And for some plants, that's not so good. Lights, this is a twin star, 90 centimeter. It's kind of a medium light, not the high intensity light. Okay. Introducing first the three types of plants that I like, especially for new aquariums. The Lumifilia sissiflora, Hornwort, and the Water Sprite, or Water Westeria. Now these grow very fast and without CO2. So that's a useful plant to have when you first start your aquarium to avoid algae issues. Now since I started using CO2, I've tried three types of red plants. This is the Luigia Super Red. Okay, and if you can see, those at the center with more access to the light is actually doing a lot better than these. These are a bit brownish. This is the Anubias Nana Patik, which I glued to the rock, while these I glued to this spider wood, having some algae issues. This is the Butcher Falandra, browny purple which I bought from Tissue Culture. So it is still very, very small. And uh, these two bunch are Butcher Falandras as well, which I bought from Green Chapter. These are tied to a piece of wood along with some moss, and uh, they really look nice. This is the banana tuber plant. Okay, I practically cannot see the tubers anymore. I'm not sure why. Maybe there's not enough nutrients. Okay, in the foreground, okay, I've just got a few stocks of the Cryptochrony Venditi here and here. Okay, and the main foreground plant is the Helithium quadricostatus. And uh, without CO2, right, it actually took many, many months before I noticed the propagation by runners all the way behind and it, it just took many months it's pretty slow okay but with co2 the propagation is now very fast and also the leaves are even longer this is the nymphia tiger lotus okay at first when i planted it i planted two bunch behind here and here thinking that the leaves are gonna be quite tall and will serve as a very good background plant but unfortunately after the initial leaves melted off the new leaves that grown right is all pretty short as, as you can see here so if you look at it from the front you can barely notice the nymphia tiger lotus behind okay so this bunch in front well, really looks good. This is another butcher falandra, which I shaft in the nook of the tiger rock. 
of the dragon rock, sorry. And this is one that I glued to a piece of dragon stone. This is the Luigia Weapons. Okay, as you can see, it's not growing so well here. The color is not red enough, followed by lots of broken holes. While at the center, it's a pretty good, except that there's an LG problem. Let me zoom in. Okay, there's some, you can see those LG there. So same thing, the light plays with everything. This is the red watermill foil. I've planted it actually at three locations. One at the center, which seems to be growing well. One batch at the sides. And uh, one small batch here. This is not doing so well. Probably those at the center is doing well, not just because of the light, but because I inserted some root taps around the center. Okay, to the side, this is the Brazilian money watch. Sorry, this is the Brazilian penny watch. Okay, and uh, it's supposed to be a good plant, very hardy, and doesn't need CO2. Uh, but for some reason, it didn't grow well in my tank before I used CO2. But right now with CO2, right, uh, it's growing very well. Look at all the roots. It's very nice. I hope to be propagating them soon. Now all the way behind are some very scenarios. And Hopefully, it will grow even longer so that it can become kind of wavy at the background. And uh, you can't see here, but there are some Amazon swords. Well, there you go. So again, I kind of planted it in the wrong way, so to say, as I can't really see it readily. Now for livestock, I've got the Harlequin Resbora and the Golden Pencil Fish. And there are some Otto Sinclairs, maybe four or five. Here are two of them. Now this Otto Sinclairs is a very good cleanup crew. And uh, especially if you do not like placos because they tend to grow a bit too large. Okay, another cleanup crew I have uh, shrimps. If you can see here, there's this blue fantasy shrimp there. So unfortunately, I've got only one or two left after I tried to buy two badges of 10. So the mortality rate is pretty high. Uh, probably because the KH in my aquarium tank is not high enough at the time. That's why a couple of weeks ago, I added um, some coral chips to increase the KH. Okay, another shrimp that I have are the Amano shrimp. These are pretty hardy as well. The third type of shrimp are the cherry shrimps. I see them here just now. Okay, that's one of them. another two okay so hopefully they'll do well and start to have streamless in a few weeks time or a few months time thanks for tuning in and I hope to bring you another update after I complete the res the partial rescape of this structure I'll see you again. Thank you.